like waiting for us. Yeah. Oh, there's some more <gasps> Look, our first snowfall. Oh my gosh. Touch it. <laughs> you can blow it. get more that's all that is that's happened <laughs> we got us a mess an organized mess and would you look at that our first snowfall hopefully we have more than a handful because we would like to go sledding <laughs> but we're just excited that we got our first snowfall today before the fun we got to get the work done which means I got to go do my leg day I'm wearing very compressed fleece leggings I got my heater going at least 30 minutes, right? I turned it on for 30 minutes. I don't know if I'm opening that garage door though. Uh, <laughs> winter. <laughs> things that I like about you, things I don't like about you. Anyways, let's go get started. All right, so it's leg day. Look how bright I am. And the garage doors are closed. Hubby bought another light um, just to light me up. I'm going to warm up with this rope because it doesn't take very long. My other one, it would take me forever. So I'm gonna warm up with this, even though it doesn't feel bad. We did get a heater, guys, we got a heater. It's small, but it's powerful. This is the one we were talking about that like we had a garage like double the size of this and it would heat it up nicely and we bought a big one and it never did it. Um, he remembered the name after years. I mean, he just searched it by the name. Anyways, let's warm up. It doesn't take much effort. Oh my goodness. I'm warm. I'm good to go. <laughs> Hubby's like, what what warms you up more? The fear of getting hit by it or the actual workout itself? I think both play a good role. <laughs> and that's another thing. The weights and the bars, they're freezing. So I'm not really, I don't really like working with gloves unless I really need to. In this case, it is cold, like ice cold.
185 now. I may or may not increase depending how I feel, but I mostly want to save time to get on the Smith machine and do a couple different variations. Like I said, you can scoot forward on the Smith machine. You can't do it three ways because you're going to plop on your butt. Uh, and by scooting forward, you can really engage those uh, quads. And then I can go really, really low on the Smith machine, which is great for the booty. <laughs> so we're going to do a little bit more free weights and then we'll swap to the Smith machine. That's it for today's leg day. It was rough. It was really rough. I didn't expect that. I think the air just feels weird. Um, so after every set, I would get desperate, like I couldn't breathe. And I think it was the heater too. You know how you, the atmosphere just changes and I don't know, it kind of throws you off a little. This is kind of a rough workout. Gotta go get, huh? It was a good one, really good. Just it, a lot of hard, heavy breathing. <laughs> um, but yeah, we just gotta go refuel and that should be good. We got a lot going on, but don't worry, we'll show you. We'll take you along. <laughs> Beginning to look like Christmas. <gasps> I'm so excited. <laughs> Christmas for me, there's something about Christmas, it just brings joy to my heart. And it's not the actual day, it's the smell, it's the feel. And I think it all boils down to like, my dad was really nice around Christmas. 
Christmas. There's no secret that he wasn't very kind, but um, something about Christmas made him really nice. So I think like that did something to me. After years, it was just a really good feeling. Um, so for me, I you can call me a fanatic. I am crazy. I am going to throw up on this house with Christmas stuff. And why are the stores allowed to decorate and put it in our face, but we are not? And I say that just because a lot of people are going to be like, it's too early, Florida. Everyone has, there's so many traditions. I even heard, which is cool, and I applaud them, but I don't think I could ever do it. A family that decorates the house at midnight when all the kids would go to sleep, they would decorate the entire house, have cookies for the morning, and just the day of Christmas, you just wake up with the smell in the air and a transformation of the house, which I think is really cool, but I know. I mean, I already feel like Christmas passes by too fast. One day, I wouldn't be able to savor it all. All right, so let's get started. I made a playlist starting like two weeks ago. <laughs> I gotta take this off because, yes, it's nice and cozy, but I'm getting kinda hot in it. <laughs> tall guys. 5'9 here. 5'9. <laughs> it's a natural but more natural and modern look because you've got a nice sparkle but then you have like a really natural squirrel and handmade ones or at least they look handmade. So if you see all the really really cute detail in the snowman and then you have like shine because I really wanted shine. I thought it was important. We bought some icicles to give it that shine. Ooh, and you know what I made? I made a natural gift. I, I saw one and it was like $50. I was like, no, I can make this. I made it. <laughs> and I like it. Goofed up in some areas, but it's okay. No one's judging. And then I also, oh, but I gotta show you the before. All right, this is the before Dollar Tree literally from the dollar store. I have transformed them and made them all individually awesome. We will be getting new ones that are more natural and these will go in the basement because the basement theme is this color. But for now, they'll stay there. And we rearranged our furniture to make it work. I am so hyped up. Can you tell? Super excited. <laughs> all right, so the rearranging was this sofa used to be there but I wanted the tree in front of the, the window and I wanted it to be displayed nicely. We were going to put the tree in that corner and keep that sofa there. <laughs> that was, you know, look at, this is ginormous. Uh, so no, it did not go in the corner and I wanted to use the whole tree all around. 
Um, we had to move these two over here. We had thought, oh, it'd be cool to keep them one between the tree, but one of the, the one in the corner is like the lonely person sits there. I wouldn't mind. I would just adore the tree in the corner by myself, but it was kind of awkward. So we moved them here and then the carpet, which I already moved. Um, we had the cream carpet here, looks white compared to the white tree. No, it looks like your dog pee peed all over it. <laughs> so for that reason, we swapped it to that room and brought the gray, which brings that natural look. Um, and that one just brightens it, so it works perfect there. We'll swap them once we gotta say goodbye to the tree, which I'm thinking is gonna be really depressing and we're gonna keep it up forever. <laughs> but yeah, thought I'd share it with you guys. Super excited. And that is just to show you a perspective of how big and grand our tree is. It's so lovely. If you really like the tree, we are gonna link it. It's it's nine and a half feet tall, but some descriptions said it was 10 feet. So I, re I mean, unless we measure it, I don't really know. It's tall, we'll just say that. Uh, we'll link it in the description box for you guys. But uh, if you wanna see the full video of getting everything done, it was daylight till nighttime, uh, you'll have to go see our small family vlog video. That's where we put it. We'll link the video in the description box so you can watch the whole thing. Hubby helps, we put up the lights, Lila helps put the decorations up. It was sweet, we had fun. It was a Christmas day for me. Anyways guys, we're gonna end the vlog here. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. If you haven't already, hit that bell for notifications. And until next time, bye guys.